the moment, a missing two-year-old's reunited with her family. Demolition begins at Waiwera Thermal Resort. Plus... This policy will benefit all New Zealanders. Mixed reviews on Labour's latest election promise. Atamaria, I'm Shuri Kinnear, and these are the latest New Zealand Herald headlines. Relief for one West Auckland family and hundreds of volunteers after a lost toddler was found. Two-year-old Willow disappeared from the garden of her Henderson home for hours yesterday, sparking a major search operation. About 300 people joined police to search properties, construction sites, a creek and down drains with torches. She was found in the early evening. A crowd of people cheered as the toddler was returned to her waiting family outside their house at around 7.45pm. Murawai residents are calling for clarity over the future of their damaged homes six months on from Cyclone Gabrielle. The West Coast community is among Auckland's worst affected by the February storm, with more than 100 households still displaced. Of the roughly 400 homes red stickered countrywide, more than a quarter are in Murawai and nearby Bethel's Piha, Karikari and Titarangi. Red stickered residents say they're still in the dark on which homes will be categorised as uninhabitable and were meant to receive information on buyouts at the end of July. Demolition is beginning today at Waiwera Thermal Spa Resort. The hot pools have been shut for six years, with the owners confirming the buildings will be removed over the next few weeks, including the distinctive wooden tower. Recent images show the pools partly filled with green water, the once-loved elephants surrounded by grime and dirt and gardens in a poor state. The site's been badly vandalised in recent months. The restaurant industry is backing the government's latest election promise. If re-elected, Labour will cut GST from fresh and frozen fruit and veg from April. The restaurant association is applauding the move, saying it'll help reduce operational costs. But an economist from a right-wing think tank is giving it a thumbs down. New Zealand Initiative Chief Economist Eric Crampton says it's a bad idea. They always wind up costing the government more in revenue than they deliver to families because they cause distortions. People change their behaviour in response to them and they make tax systems an awful lot more complicated. And the death toll from the Maui wildfires has reached 93, making it the deadliest US wildfire in more than a century. That number is likely to rise in the coming days as search teams continue sifting through the ruins of Lahaina. The Federal Emergency Management Agency is estimating it'll cost close to $9 billion to rebuild the town. And those are the latest New Zealand Herald headlines. For more news worth knowing, head to nzherald.co.nz. Kia pai te rā. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. To stay up to date with all the latest news from the New Zealand Herald, click the subscribe button below or check out one of the videos here. And head over to nzherald.co.nz for more details on these stories and more.